Good afternoon. I uh, am out testing a 3.5 millimeter TRS microphone inside the RI helmet and uh, listening uh, when I get home uh, at the uh, white noise and wind noise generated by the microphone connected to my GoPro 12 Black. I'm filming at 4K at 60 frames a second. So if you're watching this on YouTube and you don't have 4K selected, you're not going to experience all the rich colours of the 10-bit colour capture of the GoPro 12. So, here we go. Sort of suburban riding at 28, 26 miles an hour. This RI helmet must be quite well uh, sealed because she's steaming up and I'm only a matter of yards from where I live. So, that's a good thing. I'm disappointed though with the fact that uh, my 1969 BSA Bantam has had a puncture. I'm just going to have to crack my visor. So, here we go. Visor's open. Eyes is half open now. Nineteen miles an hour indicated, so yeah. Not nice and slow. Oh dear. That horse must have had a stomach problem. Probably had a curry the night before. Sounds daft, doesn't it? But there's a lot of leaf mould making it very, very slippy. Here we go. So this is Thicket Road in uh, Houghton and uh, we've just passed Potto Brown's house. So for those people that don't know who Potto Brown is, it's worth a Google. He certainly had um, uh, school uh, an influence on working class children going to school. Going to turn around here. Some wonderful houses along here. Okay, high on leaf mould. Look at it on the floor here. Cool, blimey. Braking extremely lightly. Letting the bike take the strain. Okay, turning around now. Here we go. So, visor's fully open and I'm doing 23 miles an hour. Visor's fully down now. Eyes were watering. Yeah, so 2005 Kawasaki ER5. 2005 but 1980s technology in the respect that it's uh, twin carb, the only thing that uh, differs with it really from a mechanical electrical point of view is that uh, it has a CDI and uh, being uh, 18, 19 years old I'm always conscious that parts um, are not as available as, as one would like I recently recommissioned this bike and uh, had a problem with a uh, one-way diode on the wiring loom in the respect it was uh, unobtainable. Uh, mine had gone wrong, but basically, because the headlight's on all of the time and you can't turn it off, what happens is, when you press the starter motor button, it takes the power that's typically with the headlight, on the headlight, uh, and puts it all into the cranking amp power of the uh, starter motor and that diode had gone wrong and uh, while they were common to things like the GPZ 
500 and other machines. The problem was that nobody had one and I spent about a month excuse me, looking for the parts. So I spent about a month looking for the part and uh, managed to find one on a loom and um, uh, they were £23 when they were available. They were £23 when available and the problem was that uh, the guy wanted 30 quid on eBay for it and uh, wow that water's really high let's go take a closer look yeah the guy wanted 30 quid but it turns out that I misunderstood the guy and he took 30 pounds for the um, uh, what I thought was the diode and when he sent it he sent the loom with the fuse box um, all of the relays so I've got a completely uh, refreshed pot of gold with regards to relays but anyway the uh, the part that seems to be unobtainium at the moment for these is the CDI unit and I can't justify buying it but I did wonder um, about the challenge that I had with spares but yeah let's take a closer look Houghton Mill you've got plenty of water there yeah it's very high I know my friend's children enjoy paddling in here not in conditions like this but uh yeah. So yeah, river in full swell. Turning around. Let's get out of here. Nice scenery. The old Bill came over and said, oh, they were just popping down here. It's nice scenery. What a load of rubbish that was. You don't do a tour of a caravan site, do you? They're probably looking for a tour. Again, you've got to be careful. Wet roads. Jump. 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 There we go. What did I pull over for? Oh, my microphone. I've lost the dead cat filter. Lost the bloody. So I had to come back 
because when I took my helmet off, sat at the bench, the dead cat filter came off. And you know what? I just saw myself tonight sat on Amazon Prime ordering dead cat filters. So, anyway, let's take a nice gentle ride home before the uh, before the darkness comes. Here we go. I didn't think that site was open all year. Oh, blimey. Let's turn her around. Yeah, look, you can already see the headlight on the darkness of the road, so I haven't got a lot of light left. So this is Houghton Mill. Lovely tea room there. Door closes at four o'clock. Thank you. You know. I don't know about you guys, but I have got, as you know, many, many bikes. From this one, that's probably the cheapest, at probably no more than 1,500 quid, to my Nortons and my Triumphs, which are worth considerably more. And I think you get bike snobbery, you know. I ride my Norton, everybody waves and nods. I ride my Kawasaki. Because she's a bit like me, frayed around the edges. I'm lucky if I get a nod or a, even an acknowledgement. Anyway, so I uh, I pulled up at uh, the bench by the river, by the mill, pond, and uh, used GoPro Quick on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. I had to get the iPhone Pro 15 Max in because I know it winds my mate up. Yep, that's you, Laura. Um, anyway, and I confirm that the microphone is recording and it appears to be recording with clarity, which is a good thing. So we're doing 50 miles an hour on the clock here in a 40 zone, we better back off. So I dropped it to 40. There we go, that's 40. And uh, it all seems to be working. It's a bit of a pain not being able to unplug the microphone. And I was just thinking, as I'm riding along here, oops a daisy, as I'm riding along here, I wonder with these, and forgive the pronunciation, they're called La Vieille microphones, and um, basically, they're half the size of a small man's fingernail, very small. I wondered if the moisture from my breath had attacked the one that uh, in the previous part of the summer, oh bloody hell, in the previous part of the summer was working and I wonder if the moisture from my breath had attacked the soldering or the wiring um, and caused that intermittent noise. So now we're doing 55 on the clock. Okay, now we're doing 60 on the clock. 62. Just going to back it down to 60. That lady was on her phone. She'd only just pulled out the car park. 59 miles an hour. Um, if we look at the trees, there's very, very little wind. Very little wind. 